Okay, so I'm still talking about contingency tables here. This time I'm finding the probability from a contingency table. It's already complete. I've got all of my information. I can get started. Now, just think about what this contingency table is. It's a hundred cats and dogs roaming around. You might have them in like a pen or like in a, in a paddock somewhere. A hundred of these dogs and cats. Uh, and you can go through all this information and look at it. So, for instance, there's 42 male dogs, there's 10 male cats, there's 9 female dogs, there's 39 female cats, there's 52 males in total, there's 48 females in total, there's 51 dogs, and there's 49 cats. And all together, that makes 100 animals. That's what it means. Try to get the picture in your head before you start up what we're talking about. Now, from this information, we can find a bunch of probabilities. So let's do our first question. Okay, so the first question here is find the probability of a male. So, okay, we need to find out the size. So remember that um, when you do probability like this, there's a simple formula to use. Number of different ways the event can happen divided by the size of the sample space. So in this particular case, the number of different ways you can find a male is right here. There are 52 males. And the size of the sample space? Well, there's 100. There's 100 total animals in that pen. This is going to get a little more difficult later. Okay, you can simplify that. You just type it into your calculator and it'll give you a simplified answer. Uh, probably something like 26 out of 50... 13 in 25. So that's a that's the simplified version of 52 in 100. You could do it as a percentage if you wanted to as well. Okay, I'm going to do a second one here. Uh, let's take a look at a second question. All right, so here's our second example: the probability of a female dog. Okay, so somewhere in this table is female dogs. Let's see, female dogs, right there. So the number of different ways this can happen divided by the size of the sample space. All right. Now, the number of different ways that can happen, well, there's nine female dogs, and total, there's 100. That's it. You can't simplify nine and 100, so you can put it as a percentage, 9%, if you wanted to. There is one more example, and this is the complicated one that you'll need to think about. Okay, this one says probability that a cat is female. Okay, so this is a different question. It's a different question because we're not considering the entire sample space. We're not considering all of the animals in our pen. The probability that a cat is female. So let's say you went into the pen and you separated dogs to the left and cats to the right. And then you looked at the cats and you picked a cat up at random. What would the probability be that that cat was female? Okay, so you can write this like this. The probability that the cat, um, sorry, the probability that it's female given, that's a straight line up and down, given that it's a cat. Okay, a female given that it's a cat. Now that's equal to the number of different, uh, sorry, let's do the sample space first. Now, the sample space in this case is all of the cats. So there are 49 cats. And then the number of different ways it can happen, the event, the event that we're looking for is a female, a female cat. 39 females. Okay, and that's it. So the probability that a cat is female, or the probability that a cat is female given that it's a cat, is equal to 39 in 49. So you need to be careful about the question that they ask. Sometimes the sample space they're referring to is this, but sometimes it might be one of these numbers as well. That was what our third example was all about. Contingency tables.